All right, maybe somebody wants to see uh, this dummy that I've been working on. Um, basically, um, he's got several parts at the moment that have already been separated, but uh, the main body part are for the stomach. I mean, uh, the stomach part's not finished. Uh, so I was going to just uh, let's see how the dummy's parts are. I think he's just got that cylinder back there for like a back. see it's inside of that uh, so that's the pelvis is what that says that is what is that part that is the abdomen so that's what I will make this part the abdomen but we already have a chest part for him which is the torso or thorax thorax so what I need to do is somehow get this part cut off and cut off here and what I'll probably do is maybe have something going on the inside like probably maybe part of a spine or something. I don't know. Uh, I guess I could just shrink that part and make that like a spine. I set the origin real quick to the geometry. Let's scale that up kind of like that. And what's texture on it? What's on it? Uh, I'm not sure if anything's on it. Dummy. Dummy is the part. So let's change this to spine. get confused with these damn parts man <laughs> so many parts I forget what I'm clicking on so that's abdomen abdomen is using the texture spine which for now is just this dummy PNG which it doesn't need to be anything it's just going to be white now I need to cut this part so that needs to be cut here. So I'll look at the front view. I'll make a mesh plane. I'll try a plane first. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes things don't cut like you you expect them to. Which is like like I don't quite understand what when you bowling what actually makes what cut what. It's like something tells one to cut where the other I don't know how to even a damn explain what I'm thinking I'm not sure what all the catalysts are involved with what's actually being cut and what determines if the top gets cut or if the bottom's getting cut oops wrong one oops shit hit the wrong thing again man see that just chopped the bottom in half which is not what I wanted Uh, I probably have to do like I did on the damn other one. Or 
just does not need no armature. I don't know why it's in there. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's try this again. Too fast. Uh, damn it. So that cut something through there. Not exactly sure how it cut it, but I guess it's not going to cut it the way I want it to. But it did make a seam of sorts that I can easily select and delete the rest of that what I don't want. Let me cut the bottom part. I'll rotate this on like a 45 degree angle and duplicate it and rotate it on a opposite 45 degree. I think I am screwed up. Hold on. Uh, that way. Damn, I screwed this all up. Yes, I did. Try this again. Bowling, bowling, bowling. Wow, shit. Yep, that cut the wrong damn place too, looks like. Shit don't ever go like it's supposed to. See what I mean? But shit, if I know what the hell goes on in the thing's mind, I have no idea. But I know it's frustrating. But you can see this did cut it like I said it did. And that's what I was wanting. But it just makes a little more work for me because now i got to hand select the stuff that I want to be separate as a different object. Alright, so edit mode. Select face, turn on x ray, and pick all. No, no, no. That's not what I want. Pick all those. close enough. Oh shit, man. And got to go down to this part and surgically select all them faces in a way that allows me to select them all and then the ones that I already got selected and I'll tell it uh, to mesh separate into individual object. I'm just holding down shift to multiple select these faces here in edit mode. I think I had 
damn thing's not exactly centered, it looks like. It's all right. That looks about right. I'm not sure what's going on with this double cut, but I don't need both cuts. I just need what's on the bottom cut, unless that damn plane was not, which is what I'm starting to think, is that plane was not uh, straight across. No, that is two different cuts. That is, in fact, two different cuts there. Let's turn on the x-ray, pick this, and try to unselect those parts. No, not that way. Alt. No, it's not alt. Shit, what is it? It's not shift, which undam checks the shit. Control. Uh, I want to do it like this, and then reshift. Just hot dog it. I don't the hell with it, man. I don't damn know. Shit, just all getting chopped off. <clears throat> Mesh, separate, selection, object mode. Now let's hide the rest of this stuff so that we can focus on the new cut part, which is this, which did not include a bottom but did put a top or I didn't need a top but I guess that I guess that could work I was going to slightly shrink the top just so I could scale it just a tad bit smaller but I turn on or increase proportional editing a bit. And I'll move that up just a bit so that it kind of goes into the other part, but not touching the other part, uh, but going inside the other part. Now I'll combine these parts And this will be the new uh, abdomen. So you get a little bit of a spine. You get a little bit of... Uh, the only thing is the J-beam's not tolerant beyond the point of that part. I mean, it's not accounting for the top. So if you got it sticking out too much, it's just going to act like a crazy... Uh, not gonna do right it's gonna have weird distortions and whatnot so we'll just stick part of it out just like a hint of a spine maybe the other other part broke off and is up in the chest you know that's what I'm thinking I guess I'll leave the I guess I'll leave that connected. It probably looked better to see skin going across and just a hole in the inside of the back. I don't know. I could always remove it later. But let us save our file as a new file. Because when we do something like this complex stuff where you got a lot of different days of work, you may accidentally delete a part that you didn't mean to delete. It's better that you can revert back if you have to. So this part now will be called abdomen. Abdomen will be uh, 
Well, this will become abdomen. So I'll pick abdomen, pick the part that abdomen will consume or become a part of. And I did it backwards. You pick the part that will become the part. So the that sliced piece will now become abdomen. Yeah, I had it backwards. All right, all right, all right. Now, let's uh, shade smooth. It don't look like it's shaded smooth, but it is apparently. Except the top wasn't, which I want that to not, I don't want that to be, if anything, I want that to be flat. So this is this. Um, if I export the body parts now as they are, uh, I need to make sure all the dummy is, that is part of the DAE, is sent but not everything so you don't want to send everything because some of this is just uh, parts being used to make other parts like we don't need these lights we need club minimize this stuff we need the upper arm the thorax thigh teeth pelvis shin gore forearm foot fingers i r i l dummy head brain abdomen basically that's what we need to export oh shit i didn't see that he was off centered Well, it's no big deal. I guess I could just rotate this a bit. So I did give myself a little flexibility by having part of it extend up like so. And then I guess I could just scale the damn thing like this. I think that'll work good enough. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. So we'll export all. DAE uh, selection only and now we just have to put him in the uh, dummy folder which I think is, is still compressed I had to compress him to share him but I guess I did uncompress him after all so there he is all right mods unpacked dummy vehicles dummy yeah, and actually for some whatever reason this is the DAE that's being loaded not that one I, I, I don't know it's just how it happened what and what I intended I didn't realize it saved it with that funny name the other day so this is pretty much an easy thing as far as because you just basically overriding their part what level did I just load oh I'm half paying attention to what I'm doing so like I was saying this this isn't so difficult because you're just replacing the model it's still using the same J-beam except for the new J-beams I had to create for like the brain and the inner head and the teeth and eyes. Those I made. Uh, oh, I forgot the damn, I forgot the texture for the spine. I did, I did, I did. And we don't see our part at all close this all right mods unpack dummy let's go into materials make the spine material I forgot you got to have that material but I have to double check I made I got I didn't I know what I didn't do I did forget the material, but that's not what I forgot to do. I forgot to um, set the origin.
Yep, yep. That's not actually got a cover map at all. Save. Oh, uh, this is what I forgot in here. I had set the origin. And I also wanted to not use that piece. I meant to take that out since this is going to be. Uh, oh, shit. I didn't realize this may not work as like I, I may have to cut this some more. The pelvis is another part entirely. Let's just not export the pelvis and export everything else. Oh, yeah, and set the origin to the 3D cursor and apply all transforms. It probably spawned. It's probably in, it was probably in the ground where it probably was. And I'm not sure. Maybe it's the other damn one that loaded. You never know with this damn thing. I'll just export over both of them because I'm not sure which one it's loading at the moment. Oh, no, not just one object. Shit. Take everything that is selected. I think I just didn't have them stuff selected is all it was. Uh, selection only, but it wasn't selected. I just had the eyeballs on, I think. Let me redo it. So let's go back and see now if he's fixed. I think there's going to be some crazy warpage going on where the uh, pelvis is. I don't know. About to see. I screwed up. Yes, I did. I inadvertently removed the texture when I made the spine that's in here. As you can see it here, I'll pull them apart. Well, that wasn't very successful. You can see it in there anyway. But yeah, I screwed up the damn texture. It's got, I, I forgot he had two textures for that. He's got the... Uh, oh, he don't have... That damn part don't have all those parts. That's giving it too many draw calls. It don't need that many. Not for that part. Don't need eyelash, nail, skin, arm. It does need body. Maybe that texture's not made. Maybe I renamed them. I d oh, no, wait a minute. We find the arm. Yeah, I just call it human. I don't call it standard skin body, just human. That's the texture that was made. Wow. Oh. Shit's looking for stuff in the wrong place.
Right. Yeah, that's that funny ass distortion I talked about. That's because I did I'm gonna have to separate that part again because this if you look at the J beam here for the dummy, its pelvis here is a separate part than the torso that can uh I mean than the abdomen. So you're basically asking the thing to stretch a part that is not made to be stretched in that way. If that makes sense. It's stretching it at a point that it's not supposed to be stretched, which is here. The only way to get around that is to cut it again so that that's its own part and is called pelvis. So that's no big deal. We'll just add a mesh plane and Hopefully this time we'll get lucky with our uh, bowline, but it doesn't look like it. It looks like it's going to be another another crappy cut, but you never know. Now, I would kind of want both parts to kind of fit into both parts so that I mean, you know, they're going to be separated. Well, at least try to make them appear to look like they are inside of one another, like an old action figure doll, you know? That's kind of what my thinking was on this. So let's try our bowline. Bowline. Ah, like I said, cut the wrong damn part. I didn't want the top part. I needed the bottom. I don't know, sometimes this shit don't make sense. I don't get it. And I think that just cut it, but we have to manually remove the damn part again. Yeah, I have to manually do it again. Let me hide the pelvis. We don't need to see that. We just need a straight front on front view. We find the place that's cut right here with x ray mode on. Edit mode. like we get part of the spine bone too. Mesh separate by selection. Object mode. Now let's do a little work. Let's pick the top. Maybe I should pick this instead now. It ain't got to be damn perfect. That's good enough. Proportional editing's on. Scale it. Wait a minute. What did I do? I did something wrong. What did I do? Um, it's not supposed to be moving that other part. That's the part we're supposed to be editing. Uh, 
There we go. So this will be pelvis. But we don't want the pelvis. <laughs> we don't want the actual pelvis mesh. What am I thinking? Uh, undo that shit. Delete the pelvis and just rename the other part pelvis. Oh shit, was it capital or not? I guess it was lowercase. I guess we'll find out. So now we reselect everything that is going to the game. Re-export as dummy. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to reload. I don't know what I'm thinking. That would never update like that. Uh, probably a good idea to get rid of the temp folder too for that vehicle. Nah, I'll worry about that later. I only worry about that if I get a problem. I ain't gonna worry about it. Unless there's an issue, then I'll delete it. Because it can sometimes be the problem. So, we got a dummy. He's in more slices now. So, he has a pelvis, a thorax, and a abdomen. And the way I kind of designed it, it should kind of each part kind of tuck into the other part somewhat. Yeah, I realize there's a thing there, but you know, it can't be perfect. You know, I don't know what to do with that. I just guess be happy he's not exploding. That's a big problem working on him. Parts explode. So eventually I'll I'll get all the parts. Uh, he still does blow up. Just teeth and eyeballs now. Probably put it in slow motion if I want to try to see the parts pull away. You see how I recycled that part from the original dummy to be kind of like a spine. when I get the rest of it done it won't be acting like that it'll be a little better I don't know I have to really reevaluate and see what it is that's warping and why it's warping spine part remember I said that that part is uh, exceeding oh no I guess it's part of the down I don't know Man, I don't worry too much about it not yet let me get him finished and then if something's still screwed up I'll fix it
Well, I do know, too, there's no J-beam for that spine when I can merge those parts together. I mean, it's just a J-beam for the outside. There's not one for the inside, so it essentially does not know what the hell to do with that piece what it's coming down to. There's some parts to this too that are not inside like this eyeball the stem that like the optical nerve thing part it didn't have its own J beam either it just it was kind of the mesh just put inside the mesh or added on the mesh apart this thing and looking for every little flaw but hell who knows maybe they will